I wish my wife loved me as much as my dog or was as content as my dog or maybe as loyal as my dog. I don't know. Maybe the whole problem's me. Give me 120 seconds and we'll sort this out. Welcome to Gen X Slices. There's a difference between loyalty and being content. Just bear with me for a second here. My wife says she doesn't care where we live or what kind of house we live in, and that's probably mostly true. Maybe those things don't bother her as long as we're together. But does it really matter to her? That's hard to tell. But my dog, I know for a fact my dog doesn't care. My dog doesn't care how new my truck is or how old my couch is. Nothing like that matters to my dog at all. Now, of course, a dog doesn't care about bills. It doesn't worry about rent. It doesn't know how the new truck got in the driveway or how the old couch got in the living room, does it? My wife does worry about those things. My wife worries that if the roof leaks during a storm, how are we going to fix it? My dog just moves away from the drip and lays someplace else. My wife would stress out if they went to repossess my truck. My dog would just climb into the old truck right next to it and not think a thing about it. My wife counts eggs and does meal planning. Uh, as the week goes by, she's paying attention to that stuff. My dog just waits for his bowl to be filled. And I bet if he ever missed a meal, he probably wouldn't even complain. So is my dog more loyal than my wife? No. My dog is content with life and doesn't know any better and doesn't know why. My wife, however, is just as content, but she knows exactly why. You see, there's nothing wrong with concerning yourself on where your next meal is coming from or making sure you have enough money to pay your rent. But once you know that you're going to have a meal, once you know that your rent is going to be paid, if you can't find a way to be content, that's where a problem can come in. If you can't find a way to be content like my dog or my wife, how are you going to be good for yourself or anybody else? You're always going to be searching for something that you'll never find. Being content is a choice. Yes, yes, it's good to have goals in life, yes. Just don't hang your happiness on them. But if day in and day out you can figure out a way for your family to be happy and content, loyalty seems to follow. And then you're happy. I don't know, just a dumb mechanic in the middle of the desert and I've already been drinking. Maybe what I said didn't make any sense at all. I apologize, but thank you for your time.